In recent developments, rumors surrounding Prince Harry's parentage have reignited, suggesting that the Duke of Sussex might not be King Charles III's biological son. Allegations of a DNA test have surfaced, hinting at a significant and controversial shift in the British monarchy's bloodline. These speculations, revived from long-standing claims dating back to the tumultuous marriage of Charles and Diana, bring James Hewitt, Diana's former acquaintance, into focus. Although Hewitt has consistently denied paternity claims, these rumors have led to renewed media scrutiny, sparking intense debates over Harry's legitimacy within the Windsor lineage. The stakes could not be higher, with sources suggesting that King Charles III may be considering cutting Harry out of his inheritance entirely if these allegations are validated. Such a decision would sever financial ties and further widen the already strained divide between Harry and the royal family. This exclusion would not only affect Harry's personal finances, but also carry symbolic weight, marking a formal disassociation from the monarchy itself. For Harry and Meghan, who have established lives in the U.S. away from royal obligations, the removal from inheritance would signal a dramatic and irreversible step away from the House of Windsor. Without the traditional inheritance, Harry and Meghan's public personas and career pursuits may face intensified challenges, as they could struggle to maintain their relevance and projects without the influence and recognition that come with a direct royal connection. For Prince William, the potential scandal casts a heavy shadow on his position as heir. With his responsibilities to uphold the monarchy's reputation, William could find himself pressured to distance further from his brother. The once close bond between the two has already shown signs of strain amid recent royal controversies. Now, facing a possible crisis of legitimacy, William may have to protect his role as future king by emphasizing his connection to the traditional Windsor line, a move that could further alienate Harry from the family. The alleged DNA revelation comes at a time when the British monarchy faces ongoing criticism, particularly from younger generations who are increasingly questioning the institution's relevance. This generation, raised in an era of heightened scrutiny and calls for transparency, is often critical of hereditary privilege and is likely to view such a scandal with disdain. Consequently, the monarchy's image could suffer lasting damage, as any doubt cast on the legitimacy of the royal bloodline challenges the institution's foundation. Further, this scandal risks diminishing the public's respect and trust, potentially accelerating calls for reform or even discussions of abolition. For the British public, the allegations feed into a fascination with royal secrets and scandals, echoing past incidents of intrigue within the monarchy. The revelations threaten to overshadow the monarchy's efforts to project a modern, unified image under King Charles III's reign. As the British people weigh the consequences, many will wonder what these rumors mean for the future of the monarchy in a world that increasingly demands openness and accountability. In the wake of these events, the world watches with bated breath, awaiting either confirmation or denial from Buckingham Palace. If proven, these allegations could irrevocably alter the royal family's legacy, shaping the monarchy's path in an era where tradition and bloodline are no longer above question. For now, the Windsors must confront the potential fallout of a scandal that may be one of the most significant of the century, leaving their loyal subjects and global onlookers questioning the institution's endurance in the modern world.